Hey, so in today's video, I just want to show you how I connected these two grow beds and how I made them go to the sump tank that I have at the bottom. Water enters into this first grow bed, as you can see here, from the filters that are over there. It comes through the water over here and into here. And then it, you, via U-siphon, the water goes from here into this grow bed. So these are two floating raft grow beds next to each other. And then from there, the water goes down here. This, this piece was here was from a uh, bell siphon. Um, I just cut a bunch of whole lines in it. If you can see that. You can see down there. So the water enters and then overflows and the fish don't get in there. So I got this big tub, actually three of these on Craigslist for a good price. Um, so all it has down here is just a just a hole down there so I'll, I'll be showing you how I'll be putting a bell siphon onto this one going from here down down through here I'll be hard plumbing that part and then I'll put some tubing that I just have lying around from there down into my sump tank which is over here um, so I'll just show you how I'm gonna do that so what I'll be using for this project is some two, v two inch PVC pipe a 2 inch net 90 with a threaded parts on one side, some PVC glue, um, a coupling, another male threaded part. I already made this piece, this is about the bottom. Some plumber's tape, a hammer, and then this pipe I have lying around that I'll be used to go down into there. So what I'll first do is cut this piece to fit through here. I'll put a just a good amount of length so that on one side I can have this, I'll have this over here so I can either connect um, another two inch PVC pipe w over there because of the size of the tub so it gets a good drainage going um, but by using this coupling I can either put a inch and a half or inch later on if I wanted to change it and then at the bottom right here, it's, see that, I'll put the male adapter down here so that I have options to change it later on but I, after this male adapter I'll attach this 90 with threadings on the inside to it so I can connect it to my pipe and go to my, my sump tank. So what I'm first going to do is cut this 2 inch PVC using this chop saw. Um, it makes a very nice cut, a straight cut. The only thing is the blade is thicker so it takes more PVC away. If you wanted a thinner cut then you'd have to use a thinner blade. Um, but I like using this because it's fast, simple, and it makes a smooth cut. So I'll get to that. Now that I got that cut, I'll go rinse it out and then go bring it to the, the tank over there to connect it. Now that I have this piece cut, which I'll hammer through here using um, the sledgehammer. First, what I want to do is I'll glue this coupling onto the top of this and then put glue around here, around here, and then just hit it through. So it will go all the way through because it's bigger up here. It's a two inch up here and then it gets bigger down there so it will fit through. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna be using some red hot blue glue. So I'll do that first. So I clean these. Um, I'm not using primer, but I'll first put glue around here around here, just shove this on there, and then put glue around here, around here, and hit it through there, so I'll show you that. So what you want to do is first mix the glue up after opening it. I'm using a paper towel because I don't want to get the glue onto the actual grow bed. If I do, I'll just wipe it away, but using this, mix it up a little. Okay, then I'll put that on the one, the inside. So I put the glue here, and then as well on the outside of this. So I'll put a good amount. Then I'll take this one and just shove it on there. And then I'll mix this up real fast. Put glue around here again. 
I'll put quite a bit around here because I don't want it to leak. And then take that. Put it around here too. Good amount as well. This stuff smells pretty bad. Put some more here. Quickly put that there. And then start hammering it out. Okay, so I got that there. Let that glue settle. And then I'll show you at the bottom. Now that I got the PVC going through there, what I'm gonna do is gonna glue this male adapter onto this part of it. Got some glue on there, but just still work out fine. So again, I'll take my red hot blue glue, mix it up, and then apply it on both sides. So I'm putting on the inside of this, the male adapter. Well, on on the outside of the two inch PVC. As you can see here, I'm using a male adapter to a threaded part. Um, I could have used a female adapter instead, but I chose the male adapter because when I put this on there, it will prevent the water from um, leaking. That is because the water just going down here instead of when if I use the a female adapter, if I use the female adapter here, and then use one of these, the water would go from the top and then it would have the op opportunity to go down through here whereas with this the water would have to go down and then up so this way allows um, less leakage but I'm still going to use plumber's tape around here and attach this and then go from there to my my pipes And then through this pipe, I might put a filter over in this area later on, but that is how it is now. And then through this pipe, it goes into the sump. Um, some more styrofoam pieces, but it goes into the sump over there. You can see where the pipe comes and how it enters into my sump tank. So that is the water going from those grow beds over there. Hey, so thank you for watching. I was just showing you there how I connected those two grow beds to go to my sump tank. Um, it's pretty simple, it just depends on what kind of uh, bins you have, but that is how I connected those two grow beds to go to my sump tank. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.